host with the most is back. Huge opening weekend for Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, the sequel to the 1988 film Beetlejuice. Uh, had a $110 million opening weekend. That's the second biggest September, September debut in history. Only second to 2017's It at $123 million, um, a few years ago. Now, full disclosure, I haven't seen it yet. Um, you know, it was week one of the NFL, so I was wrapped up in football all weekend, plus, you know, week, um, week two of college football. So it was a full football weekend for me, but I do plan on getting out to see this cause you know, I did see the original way back in 1980, almost said 98. Um, so here we have from the numbers. And this is the top 10 for the weekend. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice beating out Deadpool and Wolverine, who's been in the theaters for, God, seven weeks. Um, Deadpool and Wolverine came in at number two, 7.2 million. Reagan, in week number two at the box office, pulled in 5.2 million. Alien Romulus, it's been out for four, week, four weeks, 3.9 million. Almost 4 million. It ends with us, 3.7. The Forge, 2.9. Twisters, Twisters is still in theaters. Eight weeks. Wow. 2.2 million. Uh, Blink Twice, 2.1 million. Despicable Me 4. I didn't know that was still in theaters. 10 weeks. 1.8 million. And rounding out the top 10, the front room at 1.6. Now, I got to say, for a movie that only had a $100 million production budget, I mean, that's the, this, this is good news for Warner Brothers. Now, if you see the international box office here, it's only at $35.4 million. This movie, I don't expect, is going to have wide appeal outside of the U.S. Got to remember... Back in 1988, you didn't get wide releases like you do today. So, remains to be seen what the international box office is going to be. But the domestic box office, week 110 million, that's an excellent start. That's a good sign. Movie still has to do somewhere between 250, 300 million to, to, to make a profit, make some money but it's well on its way. So we'll see what happens in the next couple of weeks. Um, as for over Rotten Tomatoes, as you can see here, top critics, 71%. All critics, 76%. Cool. All audience, 80%. Verified audience, 82%. So this is one of those times where the critics and the audience are kind of in sync as far as how they feel about this film. Now, myself, again, I did say at the very beginning, full disclosure, I did not see this movie. I'm only just reporting numbers and, and what I've seen and what I've heard. Um, I've heard that the sequel, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, is uh, it's entertaining, little light on the story, but it is a continuation of the story from the 1988 movie. Um. What's different with this movie than, say, Twisters is that you've got a sequel where you've got returning cast. Winona Ryder, Catherine O'Hara, Michael Keaton, um, just to name a few. Whereas, like, Twisters, you had a whole new ensemble cast. I mean, Glenn Powell. He was nowhere near <laughs> Twister in 1996. Um, so got some good signs time will tell to see if it makes it to that mark where it's going to be profitable for warner brothers but as of right now you could say warner brothers probably has a hit on their hand so just wanted to give a box office update for this past weekend and uh what do you guys think have you seen beetlejuice beetlejuice do you plan on seeing it share a comment down below
While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys later.